welcome to this health talk session. In our previous sessions, we've discussed about hepatitis B as well as its symptomatologies. In this session, we're going to discuss the transmission or exposure to hepatitis B virus. Basically, the hepatitis B virus is transmitted in two major ways, either through perinatal transmission, in other ways, mother to infants, or vertical transmission, or horizontal transmission, in other ways, between any two persons, either than from mother to infant. With the perinatal transmission, 90% of infected infants become chronically infected. And with the horizontal transmission, 6% of the people infected over the age of 5 become chronically infected. So the major ways through which hepatitis B is transmitted is either through birth, that's from mother to child, contaminated needles, sexual contact, or through, I mean, or I mean, healthcare worker. If you've been hospitalized in any healthcare unit, the nurse or any health personnel, if he is contaminated, if his glass or whatsoever is contaminated with blood or anything, and like he touches you, provided you are you have wounds, and there's any kind of fluid exchange, you could contract the disease or even through blood transfusion that's if you are transfused if you've been transfused by blood from I mean a person infected with hepatitis B there is a very high risk of contracting the hepatitis B virus so in order to enhance on our understanding of how hepatitis B is transmitted, let's try to answer these questions. All right, can a person spread hepatitis B and do not know it? Yes, of course. Many people with chronic hepatitis B virus infection do not know they are infected since they do not feel or look sick. However, they still can spread the virus to other to others and are, I mean, at risk of serious health problems themselves. Can hepatitis B be spread through food? No. Unlike hepatitis A or E, it is not spread through routinely through food or water. What are the ways, I mean, through which hepatitis B is not transmitted or spread? Hepatitis B is not spread by sharing eating utensils, breastfeeding, hugging, kissing, holding hands, coughing or sneezing. If I think I have been exposed to hepatitis B virus, what should I do? If you've been, I mean, exposed or if you are concerned that you might have been exposed to hepatitis B virus, call your health professional or your health department. If a person who has been exposed to hepatitis B virus gets the hepatitis B vaccine, and or I mean a shot called HDIG in other words hepatitis B immune globin within 24 hours hepatitis B infection may be prevented if I had hepatitis B in the past can I get it again no once you recover from hepatitis B, you develop antibodies that protect you from the virus for life. Can I donate blood, organs, or semen if I have hepatitis B? No. 
If you have ever been tested positive of hepatitis B virus, do not donate blood, organs, cement, or cement because, I mean, this can put the recipient at a great risk of getting the hepatitis. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe for more health tips. Stay healthy.